trick. Um, if your motor is spinning right now, you can issue a capital X in the uh, terminal window that will bring it to a stop. So, and we're going to issue um, the following commands into the terminal. I don't know if you can see this too well. Um, but that's uh, VT, is Victor Thomas, equals 1 million. Uh, enter. ADT equals 1,000. And we're going to be getting into what these terms mean if you're not familiar with these yet. ADT equals 1,000. Enter. MV, that's Mary Victor, enter. G, enter. Now this is going to be a velocity move at a velocity target of a million, and it'll accelerate up to it at a rate of 1,000. And, you know, like, like I said, we're getting to what those units mean a little bit later. Um, and once the shaft is spinning in this velocity move, we're going to issue another RTRQ. Now this is running closed loop. The motor actually cares about how fast it's going right now. So the RTRQ will spit back a number. And it should be somewhere in the neighborhood of like 9,500. Are we spinning? Everybody spinning? Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump from a velocity move into a torque move. So we're going to make the motor stop caring about what its position is and what its exact uh, velocity is. For example, if you're doing a controlled collision in something like maybe a home to hard stop, you don't want the error, you don't want a, a, to get an error. Um, so you start a velocity move and then you have it stop caring where it is. Because in a velocity move it cares where it is. It has a position that it knows it should be at as time goes on and it strives to maintain that position. So if we do a T equals TRQ, MTG, what's going on here is I'm setting a torque move equal to the torque that it's already applying. And then I'm switching to torque mode, and then I'm telling the motor to go. So when you issue those commands, the motor shouldn't look like it does anything different. But if you put your fingers on the shaft, you'll be able to slow down the motor, and um, you'll see that you're running open loop. Um, one, well, first of all, did everybody get those commands to run okay? There spaces in there? Yeah, there are spaces. And you, well, you can issue these on, on separate lines. You can do T equals TRQ, enter, MT, enter, G, enter. The motor will interpret a space and a carriage return as exactly the same thing. So if you want to put a whole mess of terms on one line and send them all at once, that's fine. Okay, uh, there is a typo that was on page 11 that showed commas after the G's that weren't supposed to be there. I'm just giving you a heads up on that. The other thing is what he's mentioning here, this torque transfer is not something that's typical. This is any time that somebody wants to go in velocity mode or position mode up to a point and transfer and hold the exact same torque that they were holding when they pressed against the part. It gives them no bounce, no stutter in speed, no nothing. That's extremely valuable for guys that are pressing or holding down <coughs> either nut runners, bolt runners, uh, screw tighteners, or pressing, you know, running plastic caps down on bottles. This torque transfer is very unique because it truly takes the exact PWM commanded and maintains a constant torque out to the transition and prevents you from having a position error or a velocity error when you do this. So it's, it's a very unique feature that, that not many controllers have. That 9548 was just what we happened to observe as it was making that velocity move. Yours might be a little bit different. It's gonna, that, that torque is going to depend on wind resistance, um, resistance in the bearings, uh, any, you know, anything like that. It's, it's trying to maintain that particular velocity of 1 million regardless of how much torque is being applied to the shaft. So if you're doing a velocity move and you try to stop the shaft, the motor will apply more torque to that to keep the move the same. But once we transition to torque move, it doesn't care. It's going to maintain the same torque regardless of speed. Or just say the same percentage of PWM in regards to speed. At no load, or excuse me, at, at no load, it's obviously exerting no torque um, beyond what it takes to overcome the, uh, um, you know, the, the friction in the bearings and things like that, as is the nature of a permanent magnet motor. So yours might be a little bit different than the 9540, it might be 9,000, it might be 10,000, it might be 11,000, I don't know, it depends on what, what kind of load the motor is actually seeing at that instant. And that, that clock is right, it should be 10.15, which I believe is about time for a break.
So we have some refreshments outside. Help yourself, and we'll meet back in here at 10.30. Thank you very much. Uh, it looks like they're going to have it on for breaks and lunches.